Hey there, it's Jen to share my first layout using the Citrus Twist Kits for November. I'm the guest designer this month and I'm starting with this pattern paper that has, it's from Maggie Holmes, that has this line down the middle. Um, and I always find that when you have a paper like this, it works really well to line stuff up on it. So I'm going to use this photo of my two nephews and my niece uh, watching a movie and I'm just going to, I pulled a few different things that I think I want to use from, from the kit, die cuts and stuff like that. So I have these little um, bow die cuts and I'm thinking of lining them up along this line here. And I'm also thinking of a way that I can make this a little bit more, it's going to seem busy. And so I'm thinking I want to add in some white, maybe some tissue paper or um, some gesso. So that's where I'm starting. I'm going to put you on fast forward and let's make this layout. So I'm just starting by cutting off the branding strip of this paper here. And as I mentioned before, I love when there's a line going down a third of the page because it helps me to know where to place my photo. I like to place things on that line. I'm putting down some gesso now and just with a palette knife and then smudging it with my finger. And then I'm going to start working on the layout. Um, something I just wanted to point out really quickly is that if my subjects had been facing the other way in the photo, they're all facing to the right, then I would have put, if, they're, if they were facing to the left, I would have flipped the paper upside down and put the yellow part on the right hand side of the page because it's always better when your subjects are looking into the page rather than off of it. I put the word magic that's from the foam letter stickers that came in the kit, um, the thickers, on some wax paper and I know that I want my title to be movie magic and because I don't have letters to spell out the word movie, I'm writing it um, just with a sharpie and I do this quite a lot. I think if you, if you write in a nice script, you can practice a couple times to get it to where you like the way it looks uh, and then cut it out, fussy cut it out, it really looks like a, it can look like a sticker. And so I did that and cut around it. So now I've got that bold black title and I'm just pulling out some of the die cuts that I had pulled out that I, that I thought maybe would work on this layout, including those little bows that look like they would go on a kite string. And I'm lining those up along the line. And as I'm looking at this now, it looks okay. But when I was creating the layout, I really just felt like those bows made it look really busy and I wasn't loving it. So I decide against doing that. And because I have that super bold title that's super black, I decide to just put some of these Pink Fresh Studio um, little word stickers on the vertical. And I decide to pull out some more of the stuff from the kit that are in the exclusive die cuts and put those on the vertical as well. So I'm mixing in those black word stickers along with some of the die cuts and that's how I'm going to layer up on that line. So before I get that going, I'm going to put a photo mat on my photo. And I mentioned that at the beginning that I might use tissue paper, but what I decide to do is use computer paper. So it's just a thin white paper. And I like that it's thin because you can layer it up and it doesn't add a lot of bulk. And so I layered up three pieces of that. And now I'm going to use this Maggie Holmes crepe paper paper to uh, cut a mat around my layout and I decided to leave that one little piece sticking out so it looks like a tab and I think that turned out pretty cool. Uh, and so I will add more stuff to it to make it look even like to add more tabs to the side of it. You'll see that here in just a minute. But I like the way that that ticket pokes out and, and acts like a tab on the photo. So I'm just gluing my layers down to that and here I'm adding another little tab just stapling it on. So you, now you see there's two tabs and I'm going to place the word magic down on my photo. And because there's so much white space in the top of it, I'm going to overlap my entire title onto my photo and have all of the embellishment be above and below this whole title cluster with the photo. Um, I decided at this point that I wanted to add more to the background. So I'm just going to add a little bit of um, spray mist with the packet using the packaging technique you just grab a piece of plastic and spray on it and then smush it down and it's really easy and fun and gives you a nice watercolory look without a lot of effort and it's one of my favorite techniques but I haven't done it in a while so I thought I would 
I would do it here on the background. So I'm using some tattered rose distress ink from Tim Holtz to do that. And then I'm going to pull out some yellow as well. I don't have a yellow mist that's quite that mustard color. And so I'm going to grab my, I can't remember what it's called, scattered straw, I think, distress ink. And I just smushed that onto my packaging and then sprayed it with some water and then smushed it down on my page. So I'm just going to place that around as well, just using the pink and the yellow, same colors that are on the background paper. And it looks like a hot mess now, but once I place things on top, it, it has a nice little kind of framing ethereal effect on the, on the photo. So um, I'm just drying that with my heat gun because I'm impatient, but you could definitely just let it air dry. I placed my photo down and I like the way that's looking, but I felt like there was a little splotch of yellow that needed to happen right there in the middle. And so I add a little bit more and it's just very subtle, but I think it makes it feel right to me. So I just do it until it feels right. Now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of that word movie. And then I'm gonna, this little circle that I'm working with here says this on it and it has an arrow, but the arrow's kind of like a periwinkle color. And I'm not planning to bring that color into this layout. So I just colored it in with my little pen there and I colored it black. And I like the way that turned out and it I like the boldness of it too. I'm pulling a few pieces off this chipboard sheet. I like how thin this chipboard is. It's really nice. Uh, I thought about using that bow as well. It'll come back again later, but I don't end up using it. This little square that says loving is where I'm gonna have my journaling and that came on the cut apart sheet too. And I'm going to go ahead and write that down and I'm just writing how they were so enraptured by Moana and I was so enraptured by watching them. Um, they're just so cute together. And Zuri, the little girl in the middle, kept hugging Wes unwanting, he didn't want her to, like every few minutes, it was really funny. So I just wrote that little story there and I'm going to glue that down. Now, because I have some layers going on with my photo, I decide to pop up the right-hand side of that and it just makes it rest a little bit more evenly. And I'm just finding some stuff that I wanna put on the top and the bottom on that of, of the photo on that line. So I'm just finding different words that I can add in there. And so I'm looking through the die cuts again just to see what else I might have missed that I could add because I want there to be some black words and I want there to be some that have the look of the die cuts on them and I'm gonna pop some up on foam and I'm gonna put some of them a little bit crooked and I'm just kind of playing around with it and having a little bit of fun. And I think it ends up looking pretty cool. So, I'm, oh, I'm gluing down that little circle and I ended up stapling it as well just for an added detail. I staple a lot of things. And then I'm just building up this, this layer and I, I decided to take it all the way to the top, but I think you could do as much or as little as you wanted depending on how far above and below your photo you wanted to go. And this is a nice kind of cross-shaped design where you've got the line down the middle and then you've got the photo going out to the right a little bit and then the journaling taking it out to the right as well. And that's a design I use quite a lot. So I'm just placing some more things at the top and I decided um, right above the word today, that's where I would stamp my date. And so I put a little label there that's from the cut apart sheet and stamped my date there. And I decided to bring in a little bit more stamping. And so in amongst all of these stickers and die cuts, I'm just stamping a couple of phrases. One at, that I just stamped said, you're straight up magic. And then I'm gonna stamp one at the bottom. And I'm trying to remember what that one says. Life changing. <laughs> they were so enraptured by it that I. it seemed like it must be life changing for them. That movie obviously was. So I really like the way the stamping looks in here. At this point, I'm kind of thinking I need to bring my photo cluster a little bit to the left as well. I feel like it's just missing some bulk on that side or something. So I decide to grab some tags from the die cut package and I just, I'm layering those on the left and I kind of like the way they layer in with those tabs that are already there. And so I'm just kind of figuring out, I had a hard time deciding what I wanted to use. You know how when you, first dig into a kit, you want to use all the things, but obviously all the things don't match. So 
Um, I'm just picking and choosing here. I decided to use this little tag from the cut apart sheet that has the flowers on it because it brings all the colors together. It has blue, it has pink, it has yellow, and I always feel like things work out well when you have some element that brings all the colors together. I also added that tab there. I kind of wish I would have left the bow. I like the bow. I might go back and add it. Um, or I might save it for another layout. I don't know. I'm trying to add some more hearts in here. Uh, I really like those chipboard hearts. So I have two next to my title and then one down by my journaling. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and glue down those tags on and the little frame on the side of the left hand side of the photo. And I am I decided that I want to string those tags. I don't always put string in my tags, but this time I felt like it needed it. And so I'm just putting some thin white crochet twine in there. And while I had it out, I decided why not make a little cluster of twine next to my journaling just to bring that, that texture into another part on the layout. And so I just kind of balled it up and stuck it down. And then I decided I wanted it to have some more pieces that were sticking out the end pieces and so I added another little bit of it and I just kind of glued it underneath my photo and journaling there. At this point I'm holding it up, I was holding it up to see if I felt like it was done and I feel like it still needed some more. So sometimes more is more for me and I like to embellish and add things to my layouts and so I'm looking for something now that's black. I feel like I want to add some more black in here and I know that I want to do some little black hearts. I have a, a punch that punches out little black hearts. You can see my arm there. There's the punch. Um, I was looking for the punch and now I'm just going to dig in my, pe uh, my paper scraps to find some black. Um, there wasn't any black in the kit so I'm just grabbing a little bit of black here. And I ended up punching that pattern paper because it was a soft black and that matched those black stickers better than the harsh black of that cardstock that I pulled. So I'm just going to kind of scatter the hearts up and down the line of, of all of those word strips. And I think that ends up looking nice. When I scatter things like this, I often do two next to each other and then one opposite it. So you can see that on the bottom, I've got two on the right and then one opposite on the left. And then on the top, I've got one on the right and then two opposite on the left and then one more at the top. Here what I'm doing is taking some pink mist and I'm sp sprinkling it all on the right hand side of the layout on the pink side and then I'm making some yellow mist and using a paintbrush here, This just using that scattered straw dist distress ink and I'm s doing some splatters on the left hand side. So I want to do yellow on the yellow side and pink on the pink side. And at this point I'm thinking that word magic sticks out like a sore thumb and I need some more of that glittery goodness on my layout. So I pulled out some of the stars from that that thicker sheet and I'm just going to sprinkle those around in a few different places and I take a while to decide exactly what I want to use but after I decide that's going to finish this up. I hope that you've enjoyed and here are some close-up photos. Be sure to head over to the Citrus Twist kits dot com to check out all of the other goodness going on over there and if you have any questions just leave me a comment below thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you again soon